Mom, do we have Terraria? No, we already have Terraria at home. Terraria at home? So, how did this whole mess even begin? It was the day before turkey break, and I was talking with some friends from AP Comp Sci, and I mentioned that I kind of wanted to create a Terraria clone sometime. One guy then said, if you make Terraria over break, we can all play it together in class. I don't think that was meant as a challenge, but... After some programming, I got some basic block collision. Then after another week of programming, I got a basic demo where you could place and destroy blocks. However, this isn't the end of the story. I had only put together a simple demo at this point, and when I showed people after Thanksgiving break, people seemed to like it, but the number of features in it was pretty bare bones. You could only place brick blocks, and the world only consisted of uh, dirt, grass, stone, and the bottom bedrock layer, which uh, wasn't a very interesting world. So the game needed more features. And so therefore, I went through the month of December adding simple features to the game to, well, at least make it more pleasing to look at. After programming for some time, uh, for a little bit each day for uh, about a couple weeks, I was able to get together a bunch of features that I thought made the game look pretty nice. Um, you might have seen some of the update videos that I put on my channel, and I made sure to keep my friends updated for uh, every day that I worked on it. I mean, some things came up, school got a little bit busy around this time, um, but overall it wasn't too terrible and I was able to work on the game for a bit. Anyway, here's a quick rundown of the features I added. I added ores, I added trees, I added flowers, I added grass, well basically decoration blocks for the world to make it look nice. I then added um, uh, water and lava. Also I added a day-night cycle which was pretty fun. Eventually winter break came and I was able to put much more effort into the development of the game. I was able to add things like health to give the player the blessing of mortality. I was able to add uh, crafting so the player can make tools and actually make an influence on the world. I added um, a breath meter so that way you made sure to not spend too much time with the fishes otherwise you might end up sleeping with them. And well, that was fun. The game was actually starting to have a survival feel to it. And, well, the only issue was that there was no save files, and that meant that every time you load, loaded up the game, you had to start all over again. Once I got back to school after winter break ended, I still made sure to have some amount of time to work on the game. I was able to uh, have the save files work, so now the player can save the progress and not have to restart every single time they open the game. And also, I was able to implement the first enemy into the game, and very obviously, the first enemy one should always implement in the game is killer chickens. Chickens are evil. After some more work, I was able to implement uh, slimes. We have, get ready, the green slime, the blue slime, the pink slime, and the red slime. The green slime was a generic slime that you could find across the world. It, it had like 8 health, wasn't that powerful. The blue slime was a tougher cousin of the green slime, so... So he was he actually worked out at the gym, made sure to eat protein powder. I think he, if I recall correctly, has around 12 health and could do two damage. I might have gotten wrong figure on the health. Correct me if you if I'm wrong. Um, the pink slime. This person. Uh, this is kind of like a vampire slime. It will uh, attack you and then it will take away your health, which is bad. But when it takes away your health, just, well, yeah, it takes away your health like other slimes, but when it hurts you, it also gains health itself. And then the red slime, it's immune to lava, it's found at the bottom of the world, has 32 health, and it's the toughest slime in the world. It uh, deals 3 damage, so you better watch out for it when you're mining for diamonds. After the, I also implemented a zombie, which is just a generic enemy that um, does nothing other than attempt to kill you. It's two blocks high, and doesn't drop anything interesting, not particularly noteworthy mob. Once I finished implementing all the enemies, I was able to start work on the final boss. In the first phase of the fight, the boss uh, just charges you vertically. It 
follows you and then after a period of time it then chases after you really quickly and then drops out of the sky in attempt to crush you and it also shoots fireballs I also implemented the second phase after that and during the second phase it shoots three fireballs at once charges at you horizontally so it kind of like sweeps back and forth dealing massive damage and it also spawns enemies to help it out and distract you and that can, might be a little bit annoying but the but overall, I'd say that the final boss fight looks pretty okay. I hope it's not too buggy. And once I got the final boss implemented, I had pretty much finished this project. So, yeah, I'd argue that my Terraria clone is now mostly feature complete. It could use some optimizations, bug fixes, maybe even more features. But for now, I'm going to take a break from working on it and start work on maybe another project. But for now, I'm busy with other things at school. Um... Overall, you can download the game uh, in the description. Uh, I probably have a link to itch.io, a uh, link to the GitHub, um, maybe even a link to my github.io website. Mm. But why would you play this game? It absolutely sucks, and I only made it for fun. Um, just plain normal Terraria. Just support Relogic and not some idiot on the internet like me. Anyway, that was it. Uh, this was a fun thing to make. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, I guess do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, anyway, if you want to see me beat the game start from finish, um, let me know. I might make that into a small series. Um, and that might be fun. Overall, nothing else to say. Goodbye.